Hey everyone, Admiral Seabass here. Welcome back to the War College. Today's lesson, which I think will be a short one, is on scrambling. We're, we're in section 13.8.6 of the rules. Scrambling is a way for the defending player to send eligible air units into combat one or two zones away. Air units eligible to scramble have the scramble range capability listed in the unit table, along with the number of zones they can scramble. Air bases and carriers capable of scrambling eligible air units have the scramble capability listed in the unit table. This includes how many air units they may scramble. Damaged air bases may never scramble air units, but damaged carriers may scramble air units. So, in summary, the scramble ability shows whether and how many air units an air base or carrier may scramble, and the scramble range ability shows how many zones a scrambling air unit may scramble. Movement of scrambled air units occurs right after the attacking major faction has completed air combat, all combat movement, and U.S. has resolved paving strikes. We'll talk about paving strikes later. Those are really fun. <laughs> okay, so again, here we are in Warsaw Pact <clears throat> uh, Turn 6, what we call Turn 6.1, and Warsaw Pact has completed its land movement, or uh, its combat movement, and NATO has a number of eligible air units that could scramble. Uh, NATO has a super carrier here with two fighters and uh, an air superiority fighter. A super carrier uh, can scramble up to three units, and fighters can scramble one zone, and um, uh, air superiority fighters can scramble two zones. Um, so these two fighters and uh, air superiority fighter could scramble into Denmark and or into uh, northern Germany. Uh, Benelux has a fighter here, uh, and by the way, I love these F5 sculpts that Doug made, uh, cause some of the Benelux countries actually had F5s in the 85 and there's a minor air base. So a minor air base can scramble one eligible unit and a fighter can scramble one. And then, um, <clears throat> here in, uh, Rhineland, there's a, a major air base and there's, uh, two air superiority fighters and then there's a U.S. um, A-10 Thunderbolt two. Uh, they can all scramble. Uh, they have scramble range as well. Um, and so at the end of the day, the <clears throat> NATO has decided it's only going to scramble from the super carrier and um, it's going to scramble um, all three into Denmark. Um, the uh, Warsaw Pact has brought a number of helicopters in to Denmark and uh, NATO is going to try to kill those if it can. Now, NATO would also scramble these two air superiority fighters, one, two up to Denmark as well, but they can't because um, this Warsaw Pact force here in northern Germany contains an AA, and you, you cannot, uh, air units cannot move through a, a zone that, that uh, contains an AA, and even though this combat hasn't been resolved yet, for purposes of scrambling, that AA is in northern Germany, and that keeps um, those air superiority fighters from scrambling up here. So, um, that is uh, basically a summary of how scrambling works and a little example there for you in terms of scrambling. It's a lot of fun and I uh, hope you enjoyed this lesson. Take care.